Monday morning and it's time for a catch up with an old customer, a truck driver Clive. They've both got Brexit on their minds. Fear's here, isn't it? Like, it's here now. What are we going to do? It's worrying, mate. Clive's 16 truck business specialises in taking theatre props all over Europe. The clock is ticking to January the 1st. Is he ready? Ready for what? They still haven't told us. And we have been saying for three years, don't leave this till the last minute. And the one thing I will say to everybody, you all need trucks. Be it for a theatre show you take your kids to, be it to the shoes you put on your feet and the food you put on the table. And I'm sorry to say, most of it comes from abroad. Time is running out. Businesses that deal with Europe will have to follow new rules from the 1st of January 2021. This government campaign has put the onus on businesses to get prepared for new customs rules and paperwork. But with no deal agreed, and no deal at all still a possibility, there's still much up in the air. At Portsmouth International Port, they're building a new border control post, but they still don't know exactly what checks they'll be making. Obviously, a deal helps in terms of uh, tariffs, um, and you know, there's no doubt um, a no deal will mean more checks. Um, however, you know, we will still need to build this infrastructure regardless of deal or no deal. Some estimate between 40 and 70 per cent of freight might not be ready for new border checks. Could there be queues like these? This food wholesaler relies on imports from Europe. He expects challenges but warns against panic. We are doing our level best to make sure that we don't panic and they don't panic either. So what we're doing, we are making sure that we have enough stock, especially with the perishable items where the shelf lives are shorter. We try to make sure that we also negotiate with the local suppliers so that we don't totally rely on the European produce. The government insists the UK is ready for all possibilities. In just over three weeks, we'll find out. Tessa Chapman, Five News.